This video is very long and is intended for newcomers. All you need to do is download the latest developer dolphin, open it in portable mode, put the provided Goop 8P and texture pack in the correct directories, and in dolphin config enable cheats, and under dolphin graphics enable load custom textures. You'll need to build the modded ISO with the extract bat and build bat. Lastly, it's important not to forget the CPU modification step for huge FPS gains. First things first, you need to go to the GitHub link in the description or you can just Google for the project. On the project page, on the right side, there's a releases tab. Go ahead and click the newest release. In this case, 2.1.2020.09.09. Get that mega link, that is the texture pack because I cannot upload that to GitHub, it's too big. After you've downloaded this, you wanna go back to GitHub and in the assets, go ahead and download the newest release. Extract both of these archives, opening up how to play for a written guide, and we're gonna follow this. Following the Windows only steps, let's move goop8p.iso to the ISO patch folder, and that is the Shadow the Hedgehog game. You do need to rename it as shown. Paste it in this folder. In this case, it's the nod to ISO patch folder, but same thing. Go ahead and run nod extract.bat. You'll see a window, this will take a while. Once this completes, you'll have a new folder called anod.ext. There's an ISO edits folder that was already there and you're gonna go ahead and open that up and cut or just copy, your choice, both of those two files into the newly created nod.ext folder. Go ahead and replace when it prompts. Now we go back to the ISO patch folder and we run the nod build.bat, or we add additional changes if we want with the character models, etc., before running the build. In this case, I'm just going to run it directly, and this also will take a while. You'll see some progress. Once that's completed, you can close that, and now you have two ISOs your original and a two player Shadow the Hedgehog ISO. So now we're gonna to skip to Dolphin. So what do you need to do? You need to go to dolphinmu.org slash download to get Dolphin. Even if you already have Dolphin for other games, etc., I highly recommend getting a clean Dolphin just for this game, and you're going to run it in portable mode. And just for sake of ease of access, I moved that new ISO to the downloads folder. So now I'm going to dolphinmu.org. If there's a banner telling you you need a specific redistributable, go ahead and get them. In this case, I know I'm on 64-bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. I already have this, but I checked anyway. If it just says repair or uninstall, you can just close this and ignore it. But if it doesn't, now Dolphin will actually open. And then just get the topmost new Dolphin, in this case, 12247, when I made this video. Go ahead and extract that Dolphin. And before you open it, make a new text file and just call it portable. And now Dolphin's in portable mode. You have to open up dolphin.exe. It's gonna prompt you if you want to allow sending data to developers. I'm saying no, doesn't matter your choice need to pick where our games are stored. I have the ISO and downloads folder, and there we go. You'll see the maker's dream syntax, and you'll see the banner if the ISO was built successfully. Go ahead and close Dolphin. Now we're going back to the download from GitHub. The files we're interested in here are the goop 8 and I'm also gonna grab the GCI, which is the 100% save file. You don't need this, but it's nice to just have everything unlocked. So I'm grabbing both of those files, gonna cut them or copy, doesn't matter. Go back to the Dolphin folder. Once you ran Dolphin, you'll have a new user folder. Open up Game Settings and Paste. And that's where Goop8P goes. I'm going to take this GCI out of here and go to uh, not load, uh, GC USA. And I need to make a new folder called Card A, Card Space A, and it needs to be just like that. And paste that here. And that way I'll have 100% save, good to go. Let's not forget about the textures, so under Load Textures, we're going to go to that other download from Mega, that SD Textures, going to grab them, could go to the folder we were just in, and we need to make a new folder called Goop8P. I actually forgot to add this to the texture pack, I should have had it in there, and you're going to just drag that in here. And once that's done, that's all you have to do for the textures. So now we're moving on to configuring Dolphin itself for optimal settings and actually using those textures. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Dolphin, right-click it, go to Properties, and you should see speed up disk transfer rate, that's good, and 
gecko codes should all be here. If you don't see it, that means the group eight PI and I is in the wrong folder. Uh, you can configure these as you wish. All right, so at the top it says cheats are currently disabled. To fix that, close that, go to config and enable cheats. Easy as that. Now we need to go to the graphics tab, set our backend. In this case, either use Vulkan or Direct3D 11. Highly recommend Direct3D 11. Do 4 16 by 9 because of the new patches, or you can do stretch to window, your choice. Show FPS, that's for the optimization step later. I'm going to go ahead and set native enhancements. If you have a low end PC, do not change anything on that enhancements tab. Under hacks, enable all of this. And under advanced, I'm just going to choose borderless full screen. That's entirely up to you. And under utility of advanced, you want to enable custom textures and prefetch. That should be it. I'm going to go to controllers, and you should be familiar how to configure controllers. If not, that's where you do it. And I'm just going to really quickly add another controller for player two. And this just shows the process if you've never done it before. It's really quite straightforward. I tried the calibration here. It, my controller was having issues, so I just reset it. Go ahead and launch the game. If you see this, then all is well. And you should see the loaded textures up at the top left. And there'll be a custom image right here. That's another sign that it's working. And then I went ahead and used the uh, start to skip new code. With the cutting off of the name, we'll fix that probably, if I don't forget. So here's Glyphic Canyon. Textures look fine, so that's all working. Now look at my top right FPS counter. It's already down in the 20s. So we're going to try to fix that here. Worth noting, I'm on a lower end laptop than normal, but still, there should be some gain here. So just by messing around here, I got 50s, 40s-ish, somewhere around there. So that's pretty good. It started getting audio distortion. You can't hear it because there's no sound, but that's why I stopped at 189. Because I have a Windows 10 laptop, and go into power settings, and I'm making sure I'm on a high performance plan, and I'm changing my other performance tweaking applications. That will help slightly. So not quite 60. Again, varies per hardware. Tweak it, try to get the best performance you can. It makes a big difference. I was at 20 before, so keep that in mind. But to actually save these changes, we need to go ahead and stop the emulation. Go to config and see it reset again, so set it to whatever you had it to. Close that, close Dolphin, and now it will persist. And this is just a Dolphin design decision that it always resets unless you do it while the game is not running. Now it's permanent. And that's also part of why you shouldn't use this with a Dolphin that's used with other games, because the clock speed can break some games. Okay, I'm on a Linux VM now. You still want to go ahead and download this. However, you also want to get the XDelta 3 patch, which can be found in the how to play section of this download. So after downloading this, I was having some issues using this extract here. I think it's just a bug with this particular old version of Ubuntu. So I'm going to go ahead and use the unrar package instead. Unrar this. All right, so it extracted. And here we don't care about this folder at all. This is Windows only stuff, so it's gone. How to play. And swap up, scroll down, look for the Linux stuff. This is still Windows, and here we go. This is kind of confusing, blah, blah, blah. It's 417 megabytes. Here we go. You can download it here or here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the mega link, copy that, paste here. All right, so once that's downloaded, go ahead and unrar it. All right, that's done. Let's go check it out. ISO patcher, apply patch Linux, read me. Linux, copy the original file, make sure it matches this. Terminal, type this. Alternatively, da 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 da, okay. So let's go grab that ISO, which I have in my downloads folder right here. Move it in here, that's done. And now I can just double click this. Never mind. I gotta run the uh, open it in the terminal and say sh apply patch Linux. And it's running. So once this completes, and this will take a while, I'll have a new ISO, and you can already see it's renamed, but it's still being built, so don't touch it yet. And it's done. So here's the new ISO. And the old one it will be in the old folder, just like the prior versions. And everything else is the same. You just need to configure Dolphin. I'm not going to show it. If you're a Linux user, I assume you're advanced enough to figure that out yourself. So there you go.